I'm Richard Roper. Coming up next, Chloe Grace Moretz is a high school senior with the whole wide world ahead of her until that fateful day. My review of If I Stay right now. I'm so crazy in love with you. Why me? Because I like to watch you play. You go to another place. You get this crease in your forehead right there. Based on the popular young adult novel from 2009 by Gail Foreman, If I Stay plays like a high school version of Ghost, only less involving, less romantic, more depressing, and a little creepier. It's too late. I see you. I do like Chloe Grace Barrett. She has a real sweetness and likability playing Mia Hall, a 17-year-old living in Portland with her former punk rocker father, Denny, and her former riot girl mother, Kat, and her adorable sibling, Teddy. Mom and Dad are super cool post-grunge hipster parents. They behave as if every day is an extended home movie designed to make everyone else feel as if their family isn't nearly as amazing. They're kind of annoying. Guilt and bribery are the glue that have held parents and teenagers together for generations. Don't fight tradition. Jimmy Blackley plays Adam. He's an aspiring rocker that sweeps Mia off her feet. Now, the story of Mia and Adam is told mostly in flashback in present day or with Mia in the hospital after a terrible auto accident involving her entire family. Mom! Dad! Daddy! Mia, wake up! Actually, we're with two Mias. There's the seriously injured Mia, who's in a coma, and then there's the barefoot Mia, spiritual Mia, who's observing everything, but nobody can see her. Now, there's not a whole lot of spark in the flashback romance scenes. This Adam's a nice enough guy, despite a weepy backstory out of a Lifetime movie, but his music doesn't exactly scream young Billy Corgan. I don't care where we are, I just care that we're together. The hospital sequences are much more problematic. Director R.J. Cutler is very fond of time-lapse establishing shots and rapid-fire montages, and none of that stuff is really particularly effective in conveying Mia's bizarre dual world. At one point, when the boyfriend takes out the guitar, I was thinking Mia might start yearning for the sweet release of death. You wrote me a song. If you haven't been listening to me and you still go to this movie, I'm not going to tell you how it plays out, other than to say that the last act of If I Stay is primarily about whether spiritual Mia will transition to the next world and give up fighting, or whether she's going to fight to resuscitate Coma Mia. The ending, like most of what transpired to bring us to that moment, is badly out of rhythm. I give this film a D. I'm Richard Roper. You can get all my reviews at richardroper.com and at reels.com.